my first day in Melbourne and I didn't actually film much today because I arrived here at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I took the sky bus to the city from the airport and then I met up with my friend Lou. Shout out to Lou! So this one has cauliflower in it and I'm gonna try it. Mmm! You can never do me wrong Zambros! Don't sit with me. Thank you so much for taking me out, buying me a burrito, and hanging out with me. And I pretty much had one of the most awesome days with Lou, and we just talked about random shit. And the best part is, is that I met her off Instagram, and she's been a long-term subscriber, and she's watched so many of my videos, and we just relate and talk to each other like that. And this, this is why I come and travel and meet you guys. This is why, because the first thing I did before I even put my luggage down, the whole day, me and her hung out. We were carrying this big ass luggage together. Yeah, she she offered to help me take me to my place, and we took the tram to my place and just like carried all these bags together. And it was it was just a really fun day with her, and we just talked a lot. And because she watches my videos, we had like so much to talk about. There's 30 rooms in this house. And yeah, shared kitchens and I've seen like five different bathrooms and I'm pretty sure there's like eight different bathrooms. But um, I'm actually really tired because I had barely any sleep on the plane and I had barely any sleep last night and I'm so exhausted and I'm like burnt out and I should probably unpack and make everything nice. So this is from Tatiana. Surprise, surprise. I, I wonder who left me some mail. So, so as you can tell, this is her signature wax thing seal, which I love. It's so cute and I actually keep all of them. You will see that in that video, Tatiana. You will see it. When I make a video of all my fan mail put in a scrapbook, you're gonna see your wax art on it. So, oh, nice. <gasps> oh my god, girl! I'm gonna put this on right now. This is gonna be my new thing. Yeah, wow, that looks cool. I like that. Whoa, I like that a lot. Wow, thank you so much, girl. What the hell? Every time you send me something, you make me smile so much. You have no idea how happy it makes me when I see Tatiana on a letter. Thank you so much, Tatiana. You're so sweet. Hi, guys. Okay. So I want to give a quick mention to audible.com because I have been listening to an audiobook and I listened to it throughout the whole time I was in Melbourne and I just finished it. So I felt like I should probably include this in this video so you guys know what I was listening to when I was in Melbourne and what I was listening to the entire plane ride and my whole travels. And I will put the link in the description of the book. To the young adults out there, I think this is a book you should definitely read. There's a lot of good morals in this book. I would consider this book kind of like a John Green book. You know how like John Green has like Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, like The Fault in Our Stars, those type of books. I would kind of put the this book, All the Bright Places in the same category and I hate to compare writers but storyline and how it goes is very very similar. So it is about these two teenagers who are about 17, a uh, boy and a girl and they meet on a ledge because they both plan to kill themselves and they kind of just like save each other through their hard times and it's like almost every single time this girl or the guy wants to kill himself or is feeling down they kind of lift each other 
back up and I think this is a great book if you are suicidal or feeling suicidal especially if you're a young adult they do talk about suicide a lot and even um, the main character he has bipolar disorder and he talks about like how other people react to him how it feels like I remember he was talking about like dissociating there was a lot of good character development I definitely think this is a book more focused on character character development and I did like the moral behind it however I feel like the book is a little bit too young for my taste I think it's just because I've been listening to lectures and like factual stuff I don't really like reading fiction but the end notes of the book the writer actually um, you know gives her gives her thanks to other people and kind of talks about um, mental illness and suicide and I think that the way she explained it at the end was very very uplifting and I think it's a great book if you're looking for some light I mean it is called all the bright places and finding light in dull moments and um, yeah if you guys are interested in listening to this book you can get it for free um, with my code below at audibletrial.com slash hobo and yeah, you can choose this book or any other book. Your first book is free. And thank you so much, audible.com, for actually letting all of my subscribers listen to books and lectures and learn good things because the whole time I was in Melbourne, I was listening to this book. I felt through this book. And I, when I'm listening to a book, I feel really like in the moment. I feel like I'm in a new world. And I think it's a good way to kind of like get out of your head. I was on the trams in Melbourne and I was feeling a little bit anxious. I don't think I suffer from anxiety anymore, but I did in the past and I was feeling really anxious. So I just put two of my earphones in and I just started listening to this book. And suddenly I was back in that safe place, like in that world of this story and I stopped focusing on whether people were looking at me or not I would really want to push you guys to listen to these books or listen to any type of book you want because it can actually get your mind off a lot of things like sometimes I overthink so much and then I just play the book and then I feel like I'm in a different world I don't know I don't know how to describe it but yeah the link is in the description or it's audibletrial.com slash hobo and they have thousands of books that you can look through you can just go and search for any type of book and you can get it for free when you first sign up other than that I would love to give a huge thank you to my patrons so love to give a huge thank you to David you guys know David I don't even consider him my patron anymore he is my one of my best friends and he actually works on the store he 50% of the store so just needed to shout him out because I feel like I don't give enough appreciation to this amazing human being and a big thank you to Sean thank you so much for supporting me for as long as you have it honestly helps out so much like my electricity bill is coming up and you have helped me through so much um, thank you so much to Heather you have been here for so long thank you to Isabel you dude you have been here for so long and Thank you so much. You know how much I appreciate you. Big thank you to McKendra. Big thank you to Lauren. And yeah, if you guys don't know what Patreon is, it is a website where you can support your favorite artists. All of the money that I that I get to make videos, I get from patrons. So if you, oh my God, look at that. If you guys do want to keep seeing more videos, then it will really help if you even support by $1 or $2. You can do any amount you, you please and you get certain rewards. So if you donate like $5, you get my videos a day early. Um, so and so and so. And you can just check out the website. I'll put it, I'll put it in the link in the description. But it is kind of hard to make videos when you're not making any money. But luckily, patron has saved me through many hard months and I'm really, really happy and satisfied with how many people support me there. So don't feel the need to pledge just to gain my love. Like I love you either way, you don't need a pledge. But I just wanted to put that out there because some of you guys are like, I wanna see more of these, I wanna see more of these videos. And I'm like, it's hard to make certain videos unless if I have like money for equipment, but it's okay. Like you can still support me by just liking, watching, subscribing, clicking the bell. All of that helps me out. So it really doesn't matter if you're paying like actual money or if you're paying me your time and love because I love you either way. Yeah. <laughs>